field or view that you might like. You can change the field of view based on what you think looks good. And we have filter types. <coughs> um, this is just the regular none, no special effects. But we have the freedom to change the brightness, the vignette, the sketch, or give it a sketch type feel. If you want, you can add some vignette to it. Or change the color intensity. And so now it looks entirely different, right? And or or, or we can just have custom ones like Lomo and take a screenshot like this. And it's still in game, it's still move, move around. Because everything's positive, we can take a photo based on what we think looks good. Now, on the bottom we have capture time. We have the regular screenshot, or like what Nick said, we have high resolution or super resolution that lets us choose up to 32x your screen resolution. So as of today, that highest would be 32x 4K, which renders a 4.5 gigapixel file. One big thing about this is, no, we're not limited to it, just that we think this should be big enough for most people. After all, when you go up to 32x 4K, you're looking at about a four to five gigabyte file. So you're getting a lot of that type of issues, uh, depending on if you want to do it. So for this sake, let's just take a, say, 8x, just for example. So what happens, just like what Nick said, you take a whole bunch of screenshots and you stitch them together. And this is basically what it looks like. So you'll see it's like rolling down a hill. Right? Just, just like what Nick was saying, you're taking a whole bunch of screenshots and that's, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what you get. And we come out of it, let's see, let's go to actual shots. Um, so what happens is you take a whole bunch of bitmap uh, images and we stitch it together. Both of those go very, very fast. You saw all the screenshots being taken. Um, the stitching is actually very fast, but because the file size is so big, um, that screenshot at 8x will be in the 400 megabyte range or so. So we convert it into a PNG file. So it's still lossless, but it's still compressed. And um, so the conversion actually takes a while. Um, let me show you one we took a little bit earlier today. And then we'll go back to the one I just took. Um, so this one is a 15x um, file because you know we had the time to do it. And you can zoom in a lot, and I'm still only at 36%. So for those of you who have tried printing a screenshot, you know how hard that is. You know you, you need at least 100 DPI, if not higher. Right? And if you want to print something, that's how we got that huge, basically, mural in the States last time. I was 38 feet wide of uh, Wisher 3. So it looks great. You get to really zoom in and look at the details, which is something we've never been able to do before. Right? Screenshots always look kind of pixely when you start zooming in. All right, so this is the one we just took. It's 85 megs. So same thing, you can zoom in, get a better look at what's inside. And it's still a very nice picture and you get to manipulate it, uh, whoops. Because uh, for all of the, uh, you do have all the information in there so you can go to Photoshop, add filters as well. We have the inbuilt filters just to give you the picture, the feel that you're looking for, right? And of course, besides the high resolution capture type, we have the 360. For a photosphere, we can do it in stereo and put it together for a 360 stereo, so basic, basically a VR type experience, right? It's a photosphere, it's VR, you can put it at a high resolution. It works great on either a HTC Vive or an Oculus Rift headset. Or if we go to a lower resolution, we can, we're able to put that onto your cell phone and you can use Google Cardboard, you can use um, your VR, whatever, you know, mobile headset 
to do VR and have that work. Um, and you get great fidelity. So uh, just to give you guys a few examples, so uh, we have the approved photos. Um, so this is basically what a 360, the top half would be 360. When you put both together, that's your 360 stereo. And we do have that available here. Please feel free to check it out afterwards. Um, we, we have a whole bunch of uh, photos and whatnot you can check out. Both of these are from Witcher 3. And um, you know, it feels like you're in the scene. You really get a really nice view of it. And yes, they're all quite high resolution and they look really, really great. All right, thanks, back to you. Okay.